This story begins with a young black boxer by the name of Muhammad Ali. Muhammad, just like any other black man, wanted to get his family out of the hood. He would do that by joining the boxing world, making enough money to get his family out of the hood and living a good life. He decided to spin his fighting style on the fighting style menu and to his surprise he has gotten the slugger fighting style. He decided to give it a try in a match and see how it fits him. The young boxer started throwing several haymakers at the start of the fight, however, his clearly more experienced opponent was able to counter all of them, ultimately leading him to landing a vicious left hook to our hero's jaw. This was a one-sided beatdown. As any normal human can see, our hero's health bar is almost completely gone while the opponent's health is almost full. The young boxer was getting quite frustrated with himself and so he resorted to even more haymakers. However, unfortunately one of them ended up getting countered and a vicious cross was delivered to his upper dome, putting him to sleep. Or so we thought. Our hero gets up to continue the fight. At this point he doesn't care if he wins or loses anymore. He just wants to fight this man to death. He then proceeds to get knocked the fuck out, clean, cold, sent to bed, his family's The young boxer has lost his first fight. How could this be? He has trained so much to get a better life just for his dream to end in only one fight. He knew something inside him had to change. Ali could feel it, this was it, this was the style that fit him the most, the hands low style, this was the style he was supposed to be born with. And now, the young boxer's first victim will be none other than Toji Fushiguro himself. Let's see how this fight goes ladies and gentlemen. Our hero knew who Toji Fushiguro is, he knew he was quite a formidable opponent. But his new style allowed him to outperform in every way and deliver several fast blows to his neck, body and head. This fight was going quite well for our hero. His new style was even better than he imagined. He was able to bombard Toji Fushiguro with several fast high speed combinations and was even able to easily put him to sleep. However. <laughs> Toji was not gonna let this slide as he proceeded to deliver a nasty right overhand to our hero's jaw. Now our hero was quite mad. He proceeds to get up and let out thousands of punches, fast combinations to his opponent's face. He even missed his ult but we're gonna ignore that. Toji is a formidable opponent so our hero knew what he had to do. He put all his forces in one punch and proceeded to let out vicious and brutal several combinations to his upper dome. His cranium was crushed by this vicious right hand. It was clear that Toji was hurt. He tried fleeing like a little rat and just when we thought this fight was over, Toji did the impossible. Our hero was countered and several blows, fast, high precision blows were delivered to his cranium. Ali was dazed and a close range war erupted between these two, however our much superior hero managed to put him to sleep easily, actually not to sleep, it was a little blow but you get what I mean. But not too fast, do not celebrate because Toji got up once again. He was not gonna make this easy for Ali 
as he then proceeds to viciously knock him down with a severe overhand right. Our hero gets back up and knows this is the final showdown. Both parties exchange multiple combinations and powerful blows, but we all knew this was a matter of time because our hero, <laughs> our hero's alt bar was filling up. And so, Ali with a swift dodge countered Toji and landed his ultimate, leading to Toji ultimately forfeiting the game and leaving. Ali finally won his first fight. This new style he attained fits him most, and he knows that. Now, with this new style, he must undergo a drip change. But what the hell, but <laughs> Everybody was scared of Ali now, so to get a fight, he resorted to the one thing he's best at, trash talking. His fool of an opponent fell for it and <laughs> decided to jump into the lion's den. His opponent also resorted to trash talking, calling him a monkey. Ali was perplexed by this and knew losing was not an option. His opponent was quite good at countering. Ali did not expect this, but it was nothing special. He was making quick work of his opponent, landing multiple and precise shots to the head and body. Ali's fast and precise combinations were too much for his opponent to handle. Just when Ali was about to send him to the canvas, his opponent countered him with a two-punch combination following his ultimate, the heartbreaking shot. The shot was delivered to Ali's heart with pinpoint accuracy and then a follow-up breath hook was delivered to his dome, setting him down on the canvas. Ali did not see this coming, and believe me, he was not happy about it. But at least now he knows that this fight will not be so easy. Ali downed his joker with a right cross to the upper cheekbone, but he knew this wasn't enough. And as expected, his opponent did indeed get up. His opponent lashed out with a few fast combinations, but Ali was able to block most of it. His swift dodges and counters made it really hard for Ali to hit him. Ali regretted underestimating his opponent. He knew his opponent was evolving right here and now, adapting to his fighting style. It's what this nigga would hope I say, cause Ali just landed a swift ultimate to this nigga's right jaw. Landing a series of fast combinations and a vicious right cross from his blind spot, now bringing the fight once again on even ground. Both parties took part in multiple exchanges, with the opposition being on the winning side. However, Ali, with a vicious heavy three punch combination, managed to regain the lead and ultimately knocking him down with a vicious counter punch. Ali then proceeded to trash talk even more like he did throughout the whole fight. So the opposition would not let this slide, knocking Ali down with a right cross once again. Both of the fighters were on two downs, meaning this last one would decide who wins the fight. The final showdown started. Both of them had full health bars, so this was truly a battle to see who the strongest man is. Both parties took part in a vicious exchange of punches with Ali being on a winning side with multiple and various combinations to the body and head. However, Ali's rush was quickly ended by an ultimate landed by the opposition, which left Ali at a whopping half health. Tiger. Ali knew his only chance now is to land his ult, and he bet on that, sitting there taking vicious combinations and waiting for his ult, which finally popped up. He was now ready to use it, and so he did, however, the ult was blocked. Ali knew it was over. His HP was less than 20% and going down at a rapid pace. However, something clicked in him and he started letting out vicious heavy combinations that got his opponent on even ground and then proceeded to knock him out with a vicious right cross. Ali had done it. He had won. He had done the impossible. From the brink of death, 
he managed to deliver a beautiful knockout to his opponent. Ali's story does not end here, but this episode does. So if you want to see more, make sure to like and subscribe. And Ali will be with y'all in the next video. Peace out.